to Five Elements Living. We're back in the kitchen with my friend Paula Umel. And I, being an acupuncturist, I always feel acupuncture can just help with everything. But there are times I do have to call Paula up when I have different um, ailments that we need something that we want. We don't want to use a chemical. We don't want to use anything out of our bathrooms. We want to use something out of our kitchen that can help us. So we're going to be talking about one, warts, two, acne. We both have teenage boys. Yes. <laughs> and uh, the third one is burns. Correct? Over sun exposure. And over sun exposure right. because it is summertime. So we've gathered some things in our kitchen that most people have. We try to keep it really simple, stuff you already have in your kitchen. But if not, now you're going to know what to get. So let's start with acne. Acne. So right. yes, as females, we have it as well. We're going through some changes in our life and the stress of having teenagers. And then we have teenagers, teenagers. that have stress. Right. So yes. I called her the other day because I didn't want to put any kind of chemicals on their skin. So you have a great remedy for them. And what I tell my kids, obviously, it's the food thing, trying to get them to eat healthy food. Mm -hmm. But I keep in the bathroom, just in a jar, if you put about a tablespoon, and I'm not going to put a whole tablespoon here, whoops, a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar, and then you mix it with about a cup of water. And if you go heavy on the apple cider vinegar, that's fine. Um, and keep it in the bathroom in a jar that your kids can dip a cotton ball in, and then you just take the cotton ball and you rub it on the face, mm -hmm. on the neck, mm -hmm. on the back, wherever your kids are getting those teenage hormonal acne. Zits. And what is it about apple cider versus white vinegar versus a flavored vinegar? What is it about the apple? Well, the apple cider vinegar, um, by organic raw apple cider vinegar, mm -hmm. it has the mother in it, it has bacteria in it. Your skin has a slightly acid mantle, mm -hmm. and you want to remain, you want to retain that acid mantle. Um, when we do things like we wash our face with soap or other cleansers and put chemicals on it, it removes that acid mantle and it changes the. Um, bio, you know, biological makeup of your skin. Yeah, it dries but, them out. We've tried the, the chemicals on the face and it dries them and then it peels. So now they have acne and they have the dry skin. Right. So the, so the apple cider won't do that. Right. And it's nice. changing the microbiome of your skin as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. So you want to keep the microbes there that That's are amazing. acidic in your skin so that your skin um, remains that acid mantle. Would you do it in the morning, in the evening, both? I have my kids do it in the morning and in the evening. Yeah. Sometimes they're better at it than others. Yeah. So. Yeah, it depends on if they've got a date or not. I right? was just going to say, you know, <laughs> when women are interested in it, the, then they're more apt to do these. Uh, these little home remedies. Yes. Perfect. So the other piece is, is boys with, not that we, we just have boys, so we, we talk boys, about right. boys more often. <laughs> so with their, with the athletics that they're doing and in the sneakers that they have, and then they're also with flip-flops and being in different school showers and things like that, they have warts. warts. And getting rid of a planter's fort through a Western medical is very, very painful. It's chemicals, it's freezing, um, freeze burning, it's cutting them out. Yes, this is a great remedy. This worked for my kids and it worked for yours right. fast. Yes, okay. and it'll also work on just you know regular skin warts. It mm -hmm. don't have to be planter's warts. So what you do is at nighttime, just cut a slice of garlic. And we got local garlic from Annie's Garlic. Annie's Garlic, yes. local. Just cut a thin slice of it, lay it right on to your wart, mm -hmm. and then put a bandage over it. You can use bandage tape or mm -hmm. a Band-Aid and just leave it for the night. Okay. So, you so we have this little piece. So yep. this, this isn't something they'd wear to school or go during the day. This is something they do at night. Well, you could do it during, wear it during, to school. Yes. My kid won't because they don't want to smell like garlic. Right, because so there is a smell to that. That's yes. what we'll go to the next part of the And this then you just put piece. a Band-Aid over mm -hmm. it. So you lay that flat piece down. Lay the flat piece on. Well, that's a thick piece, but a, a thinner piece, and then just put the Band-Aid over it. Put the Band-Aid on it, and leave it all night, okay. and the um, garlic oils will eat away at the virus in the wart. Nice. And then in the morning, we just peel the Band-Aid or the bandage off, and then you can put different essential oils. And I use, I have several that I use, rosemary, oregano, tea tree, thyme, lavender, and you just put a drop on each one of the planter's wart, and then again, cover it with the Band-Aid, and let them go to school, and yeah. they don't smell like garlic. And these smell a little bit better than the garlic. The yes. garlic works well, very well, and very it's well. fast. Right. Yeah, they just have to get over the smell. Exactly. Sorry. So you got to keep them happy. Yes, got to keep them happy. And then our last one is what to do about over sun exposed skin. And aloe is always a wonderful thing for that. Mm -hmm. So if you have an aloe plant, if you don't, mm -hmm. locally you can get them at Willow Tree. Yes, Willow Tree Florist in Potsdam. Yes. Mm -hmm. So you just break it open, just take a piece off. Um, break it open. Oh, look at all the nice. Yeah, the gooey, 
gooey stuff inside here. And you just and this smells that. much better. This doesn't even really have that yeah. strong of a smell. No, it smells more green than anything. Mm -hmm. Just rub it right on your face, wherever the, the over sun exposed skin is. Mm -hmm. And this right won't on. stain. I, I've used this before. This won't stain like your sheets or anything like that. It's very clean. I mean, it's messy when you're first putting it on, but it dries nicely. Okay. Stringy, messy. But it dries nicely and it doesn't stain. Absolutely not. And if you don't have an aloe plant and you don't want to get an aloe plant, Locally, if you go to Nature Storehouse in Canton, Aubrey Organics has a little four ounce bottle. It's pure organic aloe vera gel. And just put that on your face, put it on your skin. I put it on my face every morning mm -hmm. as a preventative for going out in the sun because oh, it does a have idea. a slight bit of sun protection to it. And do you leave it in the refrigerator or in your bathroom? In the summertime, I do leave it in the refrigerator because okay. it's hot. Well, it feels good too to put it the cold does. on the skin. Yes, when your sun gets over, skin gets overexposed. Yeah, yes, and that would be out. like first, second degree burns, not so much third. Right. Third, you better get help. You better get help. Yeah. That's when Western medicine comes into hand. So, so really, again, in your kitchen, most people have apple cider vinegar, garlic, and the aloe, and of course band-aids and, and cotton balls, so right. perfect. So great, so these are nice home remedies that you can use that you have on hand for yourself or your teenagers. Teenagers, yes. Thank you. Thank you.